Hello everyone. So today's activity is going to be a sealed bag painting. Now some of our customers don't like their hands to get messy. Some don't mind. So you can improvise the way you want it. Sealed bag painting. Basically you need a sealed bag. You need paints. And then you can figure out if you need some earbuds or q-tips or cotton buds and maybe some forks or spoons that have got designs on it so that you can spread it around. Once you've done the seal back painting, you have an option to either stick it onto the window because the sunlight is going to make it look beautiful. Yeah, it's going to look like a glass painting and just you can put some nice masking tape around it so it stays. So um, this is no rocket science. Open the bag. All right. And try to squirt some paint into it. Now, this is what I got, but if you get um, oil paint also, that's fine. Okay, there we go. That's one. Make it as colorful as possible. Two. And if you want, you can put some um, glitter in it as well. Glitter tends to make everything better sometimes. And uh, I'll choose grey, okay? I like grey. Oopsie, and I just busted it. Too much pressure. Alright, so next one, what we're going to do is we're going to put some sparkles into it. So in goes the gold. If you can put some oil as well so that it spreads a bit easily. And I'm going to choose blue. Ah. Alrighty. As you can see, I am very messy. And some of the customers can be messy too. So it's a good idea to just put a newspaper on before you do all these activities. Now I'm going to squirt in some oil. Okay, here we go. That's it. And next important, important step, seal it up. Now some of our customers might need help with this because, uh, you know, their fine motor strength uh, skills and strength are not that great, but that's all right. The whole uh, idea is to have fun, hey? It's not therapy time, it's fun time. Now, you have a choice to use a spoon or a Q-tip, or just use your hands or your fingers, that's fine. Let's try Q-tip, let's try a cotton ball, and let's try the spoon. Meanwhile, I'll try to make it look a bit neat. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna use my finger first. Whoa, look at that. I like that. What do you think, guys? All right, spread it along. Now, as you can see, I've used very little paint, but you have an option to fill it up, not to the point that it's going to overflow, but you know what I mean. And this is what I found in my kitchen. Just make a few zigzag lines over there. Spread it around as much as you can. And I've seen some children use these Q-tips and it's, it's good when you have more paint in it. And as you can see, you can make designs on this. So it's very little paint inside, uh, but you have an option to put in more paint. And after you're done with this, you can stick it up on the window and uh, trust me it looks pretty good when the sunlight comes through it uh, and some of our customers love visual sensory input so they might enjoy this and that's it for me thank you thank you uh, also stay tuned to boredom busters and if you have any suggestions please email them to ideas at notcottinnovation.com.au Thank you.